See? This is what we talking about. This is how you end the game. Pay attention. Pay attention. Right. That's how you end it, right here. It's what we should have been doing for the last three weeks. Run the ball effectively at the end of the game. Run the ball effectively at the end of the game. That's all you do. Look at Smallwood. Adams was running... And look what happens. You get a win. Right? You get to walk away smiling. Right? Get back to the basics. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't stay. If you follow my keys to victory, first and foremost, I want to say thank you to my subscribers, to all my viewers, the very few, but the very talented. You understand? All my gentlemen at AmeriCode, I salute you. I see you. You know what I'm saying? Keep me motivated, focused on these birds. You know what I'm saying? All my players, I see you. All right? So let's get into what happened. Everybody's excited. Oh, man, your Eagles won. Your Eagles won. So, they were supposed to win. The four games we lost, we were supposed to win. Not because we're the Super Bowl champions. Not because we're favored most of the time against the teams that we play. But because we're better than the competition we have faced thus far. Each game, we were in these games. Should have won these games, but did not close these games. Thus, the record of 4-4. Four and four. Either we started off with a slow start, the one game where we was getting piped, we were getting our butts handed to us, was the Tampa Bay game. They came out 10 seconds into the game, first play, bombed to Deshaun Jackson. And they just kept it going from there. Up. Oh. But then we came back. So this shows the talent of this team. This shows the potential of this team. This shows the ability of this team. We can beat anyone when we put ourselves in position to succeed. When we do what makes us better than the competition. When we stick to the script. Our script is different from Carolina's script. Our script is different from a Titan script. Our script is different from the Cowboys, the Rams, the Vikings, the Saints. What works for them won't probably work for us. We're a different breed. We are cut from a different cloth. Which is why we have a Super Bowl and these teams haven't had one in a while. And some have never. Like we did. But once we've cracked the code and figured it out last year... We must stick to that script. And the problem thus far is we have gotten lackadaisical. We have gotten arrogant. We have gotten lazy, fat, and forgetful. It's not last year. It's a whole nother ball game, whole nother season. We have most of the players back from last year, but we don't have all of the players from last year. Thus, it's a different team, different season, different opponents with more or different players on their teams as well. So it's a whole new equation. And we seem to think because we won last year, it's going to happen the same way this year. Well, that's why you're 4-4. Four four. Wake up. Wake up. So, we got a week and some change 
to figure out how we're going to get this together. We must push forward for the second half of the season. We are 4-4. Four and four. We have our bye week to rest up. We got a lot of injuries. Our offensive line is banged up. Cornerbacks banged up. They suck anyway. Banged up. Running backs banged up. Our speed demon wide receiver banged up. It's, it's horrible. We got a lot of issues that need to be solved and quite frankly probably won't be solved maybe till the playoffs if that. Our job now, our focus should be one goal. One game at a time, win the division, get to the playoffs. Nothing else matters. We can't focus on nothing else. Win the division, win as many games as possible, especially every division game, starting with this Dallas game, and take it to the playoffs. If we win a division, we got one home game. And then it's a whole new season. I'm not worried about nothing else. I am trying and hoping that my team does not want to be like the freaking New York Giants. They won a Super Bowl, did not go to the playoffs the following year. Every time they won a Super Bowl, they did not go back to the playoffs the following year. We have the talent. Look at those boys. Carson, Foles, Long, Ertz, Goddard, Aguilar. Jeffries, Bennett, Cox, we can get it done. Wake up, focus, lock in. We can beat every team we face. We can go freaking undefeated. We can run the tables like Aaron Rodgers and them did a couple years ago. If we focus, execute, and take it one game at a time. And play every freaking play like it's our last. Play hungry like we did last year. That's the only thing we can take from last year. Effort. Aggression. Taking advantage of every opportunity. And being hungry. Focusing on your assignment and getting it done. Trade deadline is Tuesday. That's tomorrow. They probably don't even make a trade. Just being honest. I hope they do. We'll see what happens. But I think if Howie was going to pull a gun, he'd have pulled the gun already. He'd have pulled the shot already. Because the closer you get to the deadline, the steeper the price is going to be. We'll see. Ride or die on there. Bang, bang, bird game. Once again, all my fellas, all my subscribers, family, loved ones, I love you. I see you. I appreciate you. Have a blessed day. Birds, Eagles Nation, Bird Gang, I'm here, man. Who you think the Eagles going to get by the trade deadline? Let me know. If we don't pick nobody up, what you think our record going to be for the rest of the season? What you think is going to happen when we play Dallas? Let me know, man. Hit me up in the comments section. Hmm? You think we going to take these Cowboys? There's a lot of Cowboys fans out there. They on their bye week right now. They play the Titans next week, then they see us. What you think going to happen? Let me know. Holla at your boy. We in the bird's nest.